Hello, welcome to One Minute Wiser. This is Christy Bridges and we've been reading the book of Daniel. Dreams are full of symbolism and it varies depending on your experience and your culture, but a lot of the symbols transcend cultures. Like if you dream about a baby, you might be birthing a new idea or a new project. If you dream you're in a house, the condition of the house might reflect how you feel about your life. If you dream you're flying, you might be feeling exhilarated because you're overcoming something. If you dream you're falling, you might feel your life is out of control. So in Daniel 2, Daniel tells King Nebuchadnezzar about his dream. And I love the way the message describes it. He says, what you saw, O king, was a huge statue standing before you. It was striking in appearance and terrifying. The head of the statue was pure gold. The chest and arms were silver. The belly and pips were bronze. The legs were iron and the feet were an iron ceramic mixture, iron clay mixture. While you were looking at the statue, a stone cut out of a mountain by an invisible hand hit the statue, smashing its iron ceramic feet. Then the whole thing fell to pieces. Iron, tile, bronze, silver, and gold smashed to bits. It was like scraps of old newspapers in a vacant lot in a hot, dry summer, blown every which way by the wind, scattered to oblivion. But the stone that hit the statue became a huge mountain, dominating the horizon. This was your dream. What do you think a statue and all those precious metals meant to King Nebuchadnezzar. If you have an interesting dream, don't just race into the day. Write it down. Ask God to help you see what it was about. You might learn something about yourself and be able to make a minor adjustment in your life. So talk to God about everything. I'd love to hear about your interesting dreams too. You might post one of them here. God bless you guys. I'll see you tomorrow.